Hello and welcome to How to Create the Perfect Real Estate Lead Gen Funnel for Facebook. I'm your host and narrator, Paul Washington from the Social Media Marketing Lab. And over the next few minutes, I'm just going to show you a simple yet very effective strategy I teach in my private agent marketing group to my real estate agent partners throughout the country to help them grow their businesses online with the least amount of effort and expense. Now, just to give you an idea that I you know, kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about, um, here is today's um, <clears throat> snapshot of my uh, current Facebook ad dashboard. Um, today is February 25th. I'm currently running four ads uh, for my business and you can see um, all of my ads have a perfect 10 relevant score. The relevant score is a rating from 1 to 10 that estimates how well your target audience is responding to your ad. So as you can see all four have a perfect 10. As you can see I'm not spending a lot of money. Um, the most I'm spending five dollars a day throughout four different ads. Um, and I'm getting reactions for as little as one cents um, per engagement. So I'm really getting, a, literally getting a lot of bang for my buck because I'm only spending a buck on that ad. So <clears throat> hopefully that kind of gives you an idea that I, you know, have an understanding of how Facebook marketing works. And so let me share with you how uh, you can make it work for you. Now, to give you an idea, the concept of the sales funnel um, kind of came about in a roundabout way. Um, when I first got into Facebook marketing, I did what most people do. Um, I just, you know, put up ads, hoping to get people's contact information. Then I would follow up with them until I got a response. And while that was effective to a certain degree, um, it wasn't. I wasn't getting the the um, results that I, I I wanted. You know, I didn't want to get one uh, person turn into a client. From you know, after I talk, if I talk to ten people, I just don't want to have one person turn into a client. If I talk to ten people, I want to have at least five or six of them turn into a client. So, kind of took a step back, did some research, and really just thought about you know, well, what are the most successful uh, social media marketers do? Uh, you know, the people with the you know, hundreds of thousands of Twitter followers or YouTube subscribers. You know, how, how what are they doing that I'm not doing? And so, what I found out is that the most effective people who, who most effective marketers on social media are what are known as social media influencers. Now the definition of a social media influencer is a user on social media who has established credibility in a specific industry. Social media influencer has access to a large audience and can persuade others by virtue of their authenticity and reach. Now the two most important factors in, in that, in that uh, sentence, in a definition, are establishes credibility in a specific industry and the second one is has access to a large audience. So the two things that I wasn't doing was I didn't have access to a large audience. I mean, a personalized audience who knew me. Um, and I hadn't established any credibility with that audience. So um, here's what I mean. Basically, here are two uh, you know, sales funnels side by side. They kind of look similar. But if you look at the one on the right, um, it doesn't have that audience build phase in it. And the one on the left does. So the one on the right is what most real estate agents do is they'll post an ad on Facebook, some type of lead magnet, um, offering the lead magnet in, in exchange for a person's contact information. Then once they get that contact information, they automatically think that that person is a credible lead that they can now uh, follow up with um, and you know convince them to do business with. Where the reality is is that you know, that person probably gave that contact information you know several times over um, throughout you know, their search online. And so you're not the only one with their contact information. Whereas, in other words, you hadn't, and, and the reason why it's so hard to close them is because you hadn't established credibility and you hadn't, we hadn't built an audience or established credibility. Whereas the funnel on the left does exactly that. You send your ads out to total strangers, asking them for some type of reaction. And then once they enter into uh, your funnel, it is then where you get them to, uh, uh, like your page. So a page like on Facebook is like a Twitter follower on Twitter. Once a person likes your page on Facebook, anything you post automatically gets sent out to them through their news feed. And now granted, it's not a large number. It's not a hundred percent, but even if you were to spend a dollar, um, depending on how many page likes you have, um, you could show your ads to all of your page likes for the cost of like a dollar. Um, and one thing you have to realize is that <clears throat> Facebook is not a go-to first choice, um, real estate, uh, you know, platform for people who want to buy and sell property today. Um, people who are really looking to buy, a buy or sell property today or yesterday are more likely to be found on uh, looking on Zillow, Trulia, 
or um, you know Realtor.com, even Google's or Google AdWords or, or, or Craigslist are much more viable real estate uh, websites than, than Facebook. But you can find Facebook goldmine. And again, the cool thing is, um, especially with the sales funnel strategy, because you're establishing relationships with people over time, and that's what social media is all about. It's about it's about establishing relationships with people, because that's the only reason why people are on Facebook. They're there to talk to their family, their friends, and even perfect strangers, as long as they have some kind of you know um, common interest. Um, no one's really on Facebook to buy or to be sold anything or to buy anything. Ask yourself a simple question. When's the last time you went on Facebook with your credit card in your hand? When's the last time you purchased anything off of Facebook? I can almost guarantee if you, even if you have purchased anything on Facebook, um, it's probably in the, you know, single digit percentage wise of how many times you've been on Facebook and actually made some type of purchase. So, um, so again, <clears throat> the strategy that I'm going to show you, um, is the one on the left. Unfortunately, the one that most agents do is the one on the right. So here we go. Okay, so the first stage, um, stage one, here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, do, we're going to run an ad to the zip codes of the areas that we want to uh, serve in or, you know, uh, offer our services. <clears throat> what we would do is we would do some type of post engagement ad where we're just getting people to become aware of our, of who we are and our um Facebook page so that um, they we, we're building brand awareness inside their news feed so that they see um, they're constantly seeing our news our, our, our Facebook page name and our face inside their news feed on a daily basis and so once they enter into that once they respond to our our ad uh, we invite them to like our page and then once they really like our page <coughs> excuse me they become that second audience of non-strangers. Now it's in this area, in this stage, stage two of the non-strangers, where you're building your audience and you're establishing credibility. And where we're going to do that is through the content that we post on our page. Because when someone likes your page, anything you post on your Facebook page automatically gets sent out to them. Just like anything you post on your personal page gets sent out to your Facebook friends. Now, granted, it doesn't go out to 100% of your of your of your page likes. As a matter of fact, it's a very very small percentage, but you spend, um, you know, a dollar or two, depending upon how many page likes you have, um, you can reach all of them, you know, within a day. So, the types of uh, <clears throat> video, the types of content that I that I encourage uh, my uh, agent students to post are simple stuff. <clears throat> you know, one minute videos of you asking and answering real estate related questions, or and um, another type of video is. Um, you know, you showcasing, you know, if a listing if you have or a friend's listing or a, a neighborhood or a community um, <clears throat> that you want to talk about. Basically, you just want to showcase why this area, this city, this town that you choose to uh, work in is such a great place to live and work in. And then, you, again, you're just going to post that to your page and then you're going to pay for it to go out to your Facebook followers. And then, again, they're going to share that with their friends. And, again, that's how you're going to build your audience on Facebook. And so once that audience, you know, gets to a certain level, and again, you're constantly running these ads. Okay, you, you're not you're not stopping and starting because again, you're running these ads for a dollar a day. Okay, so it's not going to be a thing that's going to you know break the bank. <clears throat> and then once that audience um, gets built up to a certain number, it is then and only then that you start offering your service. And so um, it's this third phase, third phase, stage three. The orange phase is where you're going to start doing your lead gen ads where you're actually asking for people's contact information or you're asking them to buy your service or offering your service. <clears throat> now here's the key thing is that you're only showing these ads to your audience. You're not showing these ads to total strangers because again, that's the way, that's the old way of doing it. That's the least effective way of doing it. That's the way where when you get 10 leads, you're lucky if you can get two of them to become client way of doing it. What we're doing now is that for every 10 leads, what happens when we get the contact information, here's what happens. First of what happens is, nine times out of 10, you're going to get a call coming in as opposed to a call going out from people saying, hey, I've, I've been getting your content on Facebook and I have some questions or uh, I, 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 I need some guidance in buying a house or selling my house. Two, if you do make a call, if they give you their contact information, here's what's going to happen. They're going to pick up the phone. If you call and they're not home, you leave a message, here's what's going to happen. They're going to call you back. Why? Because now they think of you as a knowledgeable and respectful professional, not a common salesperson. 
Okay, so right then and there, your um, close ratio is going to skyrocket, go from one or two out of ten more to six to eight out of ten, because that's what um, the agents in my student group are currently doing. And so um, the cool thing is, is that no longer will you have to kind of um, fight for a client. Again, they'll come to you wanting to do business with you, not kind of not trying to compare you to other agents. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that's what that's what the biggest takeaway is from the funnel strategy. So again, obviously there's much more to it than this, but again, I just wanted to give you a, a, a ten thousand foot overview of how it works. So um, again, if you can give me some feedback on you know what you think about it, that's fine. Um, but more importantly, if you are skeptical or even if you want to try it out yourself, I'm going to put a link to how to get started with it underneath this video. And so just click on that link and um, it'll walk you through how to get started. Um, but again, if you have any questions or to give me some feedback, um, I'm going to give you my email address at the end of this video. So thank you for taking time to watch this video and I look forward to getting your feedback.